am just about sick of all these uppity little maggots in tenuous positions of limited authority that think they are the fucking overlords of existence. You know, every time you go to the fucking DMV, those little fucking worms that work in there, those little fucking stupid idiots that work at the DMV because that's the only job they're qualified to do, will tote their small, little, limited authority over you and try to fucking, you know, go and you need to wait in this line, and then you need to fill out this form. They can't cut you any fucking slack because, ooh, you know, that would be asking too much. And they don't want to cut you any slack because they're fucking bitter and hateful people who want to fucking destroy your life. Same goes for teachers and cops and preachers and every little motherfucker that finds some little niche where he can be in control. You want to be in control? You know, these are motherfuckers who can't get power for themselves. They have to have it given to them by something else. You know, they can't build a company and control people in that way. They can't... You know, actually make enough money to hire employees and produce a fucking service of some kind because that would be too taxing on their little fucking minds. In um, all right, so he lumps teachers and preachers and, and so on and so forth into this category of people who uh, don't care about other people's lives, they just want to lord this control over them. The video he talks over and over and over again, and I apologize for the language. Um, obviously, I can't condone it being a teacher, but um, he seems very passionate about this idea. And so he just mentioned something about uh, they can't create a company and control their employees and earn respect that way. And that just seems like a ridiculous comment to me. Um, is there some, I mean, where's the criteria form for um, people being an authority? Like, who deserves authority and who does not? Do you have to, you know, um, slay a dragon to become king and then therefore you earn respect that way? Are we living in those times now? Do you really have to be a Bill Gates um, or do you have to be a George Bush, dare I say? Um, somebody who has worked their way to the top to earn respect I don't think so. I mean, as a teacher, our jobs are to give knowledge to students so that they can become better people, um, they can become better students than themselves, and they can gain knowledge for the future. Um, granted, not every single class you're going to take you're going to use in the future, but to get a well-rounded education, to make you an educated person, you need teachers in order to do that. Um, and so I don't necessarily think that you have to create a company to earn respect. So let's keep let's keep listening. Instead, they gotta go out and fucking uh, go work for the government, and you know they can you know oh I'll go fucking become a teacher so I can lord over some fucking kids, you know. Ooh, you know you don't talk back to me, young man. Fuck you, old man. How about that? You know you point this finger at me, I'm gonna lift this finger at you. Um. First of all, there are a couple problems with that statement. I know that you're in the moment of passion, amazing atheist, but not all teachers are old men. Hence, this guy right here, I'm not an old man, nowhere near. Um, I did not get my teaching job just so I could control children and tell them what to do. I got a teaching job because, first of all, I was good at mathematics, and I felt that I was a, somebody who could transfer knowledge effectively. And so when I got into the teaching business, I began to see more and more how I could create a change in students' lives to get them to the next level of mathematics. How important that is to you is beside the point. The point that you made was that teachers want to get into the profession, and I don't know if you feel this way or not, but from your statement, that teachers want to get into the profession so that they can control children and ruin their lives. And that's just a ridiculous statement. You've got to review that and say that that's a ridiculous statement. That's just not the way it is. Every teacher doesn't have that in their highest priority when they start. I don't think that the salary is worth it. I don't think that the time that they put into their jobs is worth it. Teachers have their jobs for a different reason than you think. I'm arguing with a teacher right now, in fact, through my private messages. Fucking crazy insane Christian teacher writes me a letter talking about how uh, atheists are like a different species than Christians and shit, and how he has atheists in his class and one is a crazy punk rocker. 
you know, when I hear crazy punk rocker from a motherfucker like that, I figure that means the kid probably owns a black t-shirt and maybe has a hair color that isn't, you know, his natural hair color. And he said, there's another atheist in his class who actually he's not an atheist because he's autistic and he thinks he's God and he works at Subway. <laughs> Subway, yeah. Can you imagine that? A fucking high school kid working at Subway? Man, that's just fucking insane, isn't it? Or maybe he, I don't know if he teaches high school or college or junior high or what, but the kid works at Subway. You know, how, how lowly he is, you know? Like a kid should be working at the fucking Pentagon or something. Fuck you, man. I'll really put the guy's username right over there so you can go harass the motherfucker. His, look at his channel. It's just fucking stupid to begin with. All it is is a bunch of ET talks about, you know... You can't even get through a YouTube description without mentioning God and the Bible and every other fucking word because he's a fucking imbecile. And, uh, so fuck teachers. Uh, alright, so before I move on, um... The last statement about the specific user that you're talking about, TJ, I think that perhaps the biggest issue that you have with this guy is that he's a Christian and not necessarily a teacher because you started talking about his his YouTube channel and how he can't get through the description without mentioning God. And so don't defile teachers based on your one interaction with this one Christian teacher. There are so many teachers in the world um, and we're not all necessarily Christian. It doesn't really matter what our religious denomination is. Our purpose in life is not to get across our religious beliefs. And so hate him for that if you want, but but don't make that the base of your anger and then make points like you have made so far. Because that's an issue, man. You've got to separate why you dislike this person instead of just saying, let me make this uh, blanket statement on teachers because this one Christian teacher made me upset.